Ring, ring, ring. Ring, ring, ring. Bongo, bongo. Professor Pineco here, and welcome to another episode of Story of Seasons Trio of Towns. Today, we are going to the farm. Morning, Pineco. Don't we look all right eyed and bush tailed today? Guess that's no surprise. We're off to see your new farm after all. Anybody would be excited about that. La 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 la. Alrighty, I won't keep you waiting any longer then. Let's go. Hooray! Alright guys, this is what we've been waiting for. I've been waiting two episodes to see this. Your farm is straight down that road, and then straight again for a ways after that bridge. I hope you don't mind, but it's a bit of walk to get there. We don't mind at all. Walking's fun. Cutscenes. So many cutscenes. We're gonna walk down here. Do, 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 do. <gasps> This is the area. Ba ba ba. Ba ba ba. Huh? Ah, the gates? Those gates lead the way to the other two towns in the area. They're both under construction. They need some touch-ups. Once the road's done, you'll be able to get to the other towns. This here is the road that leads to your farm. I have a very good uh, farm area. We've got prime real estate in this place. Prime real estate. I bet it's going to be beautiful and sparkly and gorgeous and amazing. La 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 la. <gasps> oh. Wow. Pretty nice. Oh wow, little farms. Lots and lots of trees. Yay! This looks awesome! Hooray! I love it! Oh. Well, that's my home. Told leaves a little bit desired, but I guess so. I'm happy with it. So everybody, this is the shack. <laughs> well, here we are. This is your farm. Nice and big, ain't it? This place has always been a farm, but there wasn't anybody around to take care of it for the last couple of decades. I fixed it up enough to make it livable, but that's about it. Thanks, Uncle Frank. Ah oh, well, say I know, since this place is all yours now, how about you give it a name? Alright guys, let's give it a name. Now we have to remember, everything is only six characters long. Let's call it Happy. I don't know. Happy Farm. That's the name you're going with? Yes. Happy Farm, eh? That's a mighty fun name. Now you've given this place a name, let's take a look at your house. You, you mean my shack. It's okay. It's my shack. Well, not bad. It's a little brown. I think it'll do. Sorry I couldn't put a neck together a nicer house for you than this. Farms ain't exactly cheap to clean up, though, you know. Don't have much left to spend on the house itself. But hey, if you work hard and save up a little money, you'll be able to redecorate to your heart's content. Anyway, as of today, this is your new home. I made sure to put some basic furniture. Here, let me explain them to you. This is your bed. Go up and press A button to sleep. Simple, right? That's your bookshelf. You can read up on some of the fun and basics using the bookshelf there. If you ever need a tip on something and don't quite understand, come check here first. Here we have your calendar. It'll have all the schedules of the week and the, for the months on it, and everybody's birthday. And all events. This is your storage box. If you find your ruck and sack getting a little too full, you can store your stuff in here. And this last but not least is your toolbox. If your tools ain't being used, throw them in here for safekeeping. Welp, that just about sums it up. You can try everything out for yourself later. Now let's go back out to the farm. Yay! Can't wait to toss around and run and do days. Right then, now let me teach you how to raise your crops and do some basic everyday chores. La 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 la. Though, to be honest, right now I have no clue what to do, uh, what you do and don't already know. So how about you ask me what, uh, what you need to know and I'll explain it to you. 
I really love that portion of the game, guys. It's really nice to be able to say if we need basic controls, my bag, how to quick equip something, anything about the farm buildings, raising crops or harvesting crops, you can ask him this at any point. You don't have to ask him now. So I'm going to say I'm fine for now. Alrighty, for now, how about I give you the basic set of tools that any beginner farmer would need. Oh, and here's a little extra for you. 2,000 gold. Consider it allowance from me. Now he gives you the rest of the gold after. Um, so he gives you 4,000 altogether. Got some radish seeds, got some potato bread, which is very useful because awesome. I got some tools. I should look in my bag and check what they are. You can press the X button to open up the menu and touch screen and check what's in your bag. Also, I'm sure you already know this, but just to be sure, make sure you don't accidentally throw away any of your tools like your whole watering can. But if you do accidentally throw one of them away, you can just save up money and go buy a new one from the general store. If you ever want me to teach you any of this again, just come over and talk to me any day between 12, before 12. I'm perfectly happy to assist you in anything you may need, except for feeding you. Alrighty, right now, how about you stick to basic farm routine of raising your crops, selling them, and making up some money. I'll keep my eye on how you're doing and decide if you got what it takes to be a farmer. You can take your crops to uh, your, you've harvested and put them in your shipping box over there to sell them for money. This is the best portion of this game. You do not have to run to town every day. You have every day about 17 o'clock. Somebody will come up, mosey up, and collect what you got in your box. Money you learned from those sales will be added to your wallet the next morning. <laughs> Brad, I'll be heading home then. I know this has got to seem overwhelming, Panko, but do your best, okay? Not overwhelming at all. It's overwhelming as you talking, Frank. Alright, guys. Yay! So we got... Oh, a couple of things, because we started the game with Tycoon, so we started with 50,000 extra gold. Okay, you can see that at the bottom screen there. We're going to go over here and look at the bookshelf, so we can show you all the different uh, things. I find the bookshelf very useful for looking up your character. So right now we can see um, th that we have a title of Nova Fa Farmer, that we started with Tycoon. We can look at our earnings report to see how much we've made don't generally tend to look at those. We can look at our shipping info to see all the different items we've shipped to the towns. Your harvest info to see all the different crops you've harvested. Your tournament info to see all the festivals that you've earned and earned those trophies. Resident info is probably the most like, what you're going to be most interested in throughout this game because uh, this will tell you whether or not you've talked to somebody that day. See, Frank has a little dot 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 there. And it'll also tell you whether or not you've given them a gift that day. And as the hearts grow, so does the rank for your towns. So you want to keep that uh, information. You can also, when you get animals, you can also see all the byproduct details and all the animals you have. And then you can also figure out all the fish that you've caught and all the different fish things. We have your calendar here. It's going to help you uh, keep up with events and it's also going to start adding uh, festivals and stuff. So right now we don't have a lot on our schedule. Again, because you have the shipping box in this game, you don't have to worry about um, dates where each person, like each town you can ship with is going to be in stock. You have your bed and you have this lamp, which I think is really cute because you can turn on and off the lamp. You've got your storage box, which starts out with... Um, in, uh, sorry, your storage box, you have a hundred items um, for starting for your storage box, okay? So then you have your toolbox and you can put tools in it. I, f I just keep the tools on me because they don't actually count towards the inventory in your bag. All right, so to pick up items, you just run around and we press A. I do suggest that early in the game, you make sure you pick up every single item that you possibly can. So. All of the, unlike the last game where you could set up fields wherever you wanted, this one actually starts with areas where you can plant. Um, so it's very interesting. We're going to, uh, we don't actually have the ability to edit our farm yet. It's going to be right here when we do. So first we're going to show you the shortcuts. So if you press the right button, you can go into your quick menu for your hoe, watering can, and sickle. You'll find that you use these very often. You'll also find that it's a good way to pause the game because every moment that I'm running around here costs us uh, precious seconds. You can press the R button to go to each of the different uh, sections. We have the tools, we have the seeds. The tools at the bottom of the tools is where your 
uh, your fertilizer will be. So you have your seeds, and then this is from your shortcuts from your bag. So if you press the X button, you open the little menu on the side here. You can also get to your tools through this menu. And you can see kind of your details on your tools and what they're used for. So you can read all of that if you'd like. This is where your bag is. You can go all seeds, crops, just using the R button or the L button. You can go through these right here. And he gives you potato bread, which is really great for the beginning of the game. You can feel that you picked up, we picked up two moon drop flowers, which is really nice. Those sell for 30, so good things to sell. And then we started out with some radish seeds, so you can kind of just go. And say you wanted that uh, potato bread to be able, uh, able to be um, accessed from that shortcut menu, you press register, and it actually, excuse me here, I do have to adjust my, um, my, uh, capture just a little tiny bit here because you guys cannot see there we go there's a little plus right there I do apologize for that and um, that little plus right there is actually gonna tell you uh, or it's gonna tell you that you registered it now if you press the shortcut R button there you go your potato bread is right there so that's your little your little rotten sack or however they call it so we're gonna go ahead and with our little five hearts we're gonna start hoeing you can start anywhere you want it usually takes a little bit of stamina to get the hoe going but this is I think the most important thing to start is to make sure that you're planting crops because crops are how you do everything in this game right well not everything actually I'm I'm an animal I'm, I, I do a lot more with the animals in this game <clears throat> so hoeing and planting seeds and watering them all cost stamina so you want to keep that in mind because you don't want to faint so our watering can is empty so we're gonna go into our watering can and boo water our radishes oh my gosh it takes so long so you ro you water until the watering can stops in this game it is a little bit different than the last game uh, it kind of feels like you're watering it forever but um, you don't actually upgrade to like um, you don't actually upgrade to like super different watering cans and stuff and we're gonna I think we might have enough stamina to plant this last one so we're gonna go ahead and try that so in this game that's kind of the difference between the last game is you would um, level you would kind of level not level up but you would get new tools you would trade in another tool use some items and then get get new tools that had a higher stamina but in this game, that's not the case. Um, so we have, we, we actually just, just keep with the same tools. So we have a blocked off area right there, which will eventually be your cellar. You have a little, your um, little tiny far, a uh, little tiny coop house here. And you'll notice the coops are, a lot, the coops in the stables are a lot different in this game. So you have your little chicken one here you can only put one chicken and one cow in these in these little barns so that's something to keep in mind they take up a lot less space but you can have up to four in the big barns we have our trees that we need to cut down so that we can actually plant things and right here we can't cut down these trees because that goes to the next part of the farm altogether there are three sections of the farm blocked off right now and your underground that has three full sections so the farm is quite big when you finally get it all going so remember, we can press the L button and we can kind of just talk to everybody. You can pet all the animals along the way. Mind you, the animals, um, unless you give them things, they don't interact with you uh, very much until you get your familiar, because in this game, you have a familiar. Every time I come across a bug, uh, as like the last game, I'm pressing A. When I press A, the bug gets registered as being seen, and then it kind of just fades away. When you have Desi, uh, unlocked in your game. Desi is the, if you, if you don't know, it's the little like forest spirit. She'll actually give you special items for for unlocking, um, or sorry, for seeing so many bugs, but the items are random and they do not change how when you progress in the game. But I do suggest just pressing A at the bugs. Oh no, can't pick up that moondrop flower. So we're gonna pick up every item we possibly can. It'll tell us when we can't pick up an item. And we are gonna make sure that we talk to everybody every day. So we already know we talked to Frank, so let's make sure we talk to Marcus and Megan. And we can walk on to other people's farm. This is Frank's farm. So he has this cute little barn and he's got some animals here. Da -da 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 -da. Pick up a rock. 
walk over here. We've got lots and lots of bugs. Whoa, bugs! And we're gonna pet the bear who hates us. The bear is angry at us. This is do not pet me. Hmm, this is the suspicious area. <laughs> this is where Dassey will eventually appear. We just have to, you know, make sure that Dassey likes us. Now look at us going into town. <gasps> About part-time jobs. Blah, blah, blah. <gasps> hey, Pineco, great timing. Huh? Here is, uh, here's our town's part-time job recruiter. You're probably going to take a little while until you've got your farm up, up and running, so why don't you do some work to support yourself? So until then, how about try putting up part-time jobs? Woo! I'm asking about getting all the paperwork in order for you just when you showed up. A pleasure to make your acquaintance, Pineco. This is Horatio. He's the part-time job guy. Since you're down here, let me give you a quick rundown of how part-time jobs work. If you want a part-time job, come talk to me between 6 a.m. and 23 o'clock. I know, uh, I'll let you know what a part-time jobs are for available for that day. You can only take 10 at a time, and there are basically three types of part-time jobs, chores, deliveries, and shipping. Chores, once you accept the job, you'll do it right away and you'll get paid right away. Don't worry, uh, they're all simple tasks that you can do just by pressing the A button. Once you've done that, you'll get paid right on the spot. For delivery jobs, you have to find the people and deliver, and you'll get paid the next day. And for shipping jobs, you'll have to ship certain items. You'll have to put the items into your shipping box. Just like when you do deliveries, you'll get paid for the next day. Uh, I should warn you that part-time jobs are for that day only, meaning if you don't get the whole job done, you won't get paid. If there's anything you don't understand, open up the menu and check the part-time job notes tab. Part-time job notes. They're right there. Yay! And the part-time job in a nutshell. I hope you. I hope to work with you lots in the future. You will. Part-time jobs are something I really, really, really enjoy about this game. Part-time jobs are added. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Story of Susan's Trio of Towns. Just to give you guys a little bit of extra notes about this, uh, the jobs, just a um, uh, reason why I like them so much is they are a way of getting money and it kind of makes it so you're not going to sleep really early in the day. Another really fun thing about it, the jobs is you'll actually get special jobs that have Super Mario costumes after you've completed farm advice number one and you've reached the fall of your first year or later sometimes jobs will pop up. You'll get Super Mario, Luigi, you'll get Peach, and you'll get Toad costumes, and they will do status effects. So we're definitely going to get all of those so I can show you all of the funny costumes. Thank you everyone for watching, and I hope all of your crops are golden.